If it's going to be raining really hard, you definitely want some more coverage if you're walking around New York City like I always am. So, I don't know. I'm thinking that this one has the right length. What do you guys think? Now, this one does have a gun flap, so the other one didn't. And this one definitely does. So as you guys can see here, this piece that hangs right here and the little button, that's what the gun flap is. And so I always love to have gun flaps on my trenches. So it's looking like this one might be in the lead. Now we're gonna talk about the details on this one. It has a really nice buckle like the other one, but this one has nice brown leather. This one also has nice buttons, but you'll see on the outside, there's a really nice gun metal rim around the outside of the button, which is a really nice feature. Um, there's also some really nice features in the back as well. There's a little piece right here. And the slit in the back doesn't go all the way up. You'll see it stops right here, which is really nice. And it kind of controls the amount of flare that's flaring out at the bottom. And like we said before, this one has the gun flap. So lots of good details. The collar on this one, you also can pop up. You guys know I love to. It's a little bit wider, a little bit taller. So. I don't know, you guys tell me, do you like this one better or do you like the Calvin Klein one better? Now we're gonna talk about the hood, which this one does have, as you can see. And it's really nice because you can put it up and it covers over completely all of my hair. So of course on those days when it's raining and it gets really humid outside, my hair frizzes like crazy and I hate it. So this is a nice option. Also, if you forgot your umbrella for the day, really good option. And it's detachable if you look, there's actually a little button and you can take it completely off. So for the days you don't want a hood, you don't have to, and the days you want one, you do. So that's actually a really good feature. So now the color on this one is a little bit more taupe, it's a little bit more on the cool side, so not as warm as the Calvin Klein one, but definitely more cooler, more, in my opinion, a classic color for a trench. So it's very taupey, very stone kind of color, and I don't know, I actually kind of think I like this color better. The last thing you always want to do with any trench coat is make sure that it's waterproof and not just water resistant. So if you take some water and actually pour it on the fabric, and if you see that it runs off, as this one is, that means it's really good and it's going to keep you dry. You can see that literally like there's no water whatsoever showing. There's maybe just a little couple beads that are like beating up, but other than that, it's completely running off, which means it's nice quality fabric. So this is trench coat B and we're going to do the exact same thing. So pour water and we're gonna see what happens and it's the exact same thing it's just running off completely you can see little beads are beating up but otherwise it's really not sinking into the coat so you can even put your hand there and kind of feel it and it's completely completely dry so both fabrics are equally just as good so now it's time for the checklist so we're gonna go through which one we like for each of the items all right so fit I think trench coat A, which was the Calvin Klein, definitely fit me a lot better. So we're gonna mark that box right there. Length, I don't know about you guys, but I always like the longer length because it really makes you look a lot slimmer and taller. So we're gonna go B for that one. Gun flap, only B has the gun flap. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the details, which I don't know, the details were pretty good on both of them. But I think the quality of the buttons and the leather buckle on the London Fog was a lot better. So we're going to mark B for that one. So for the collar, I think both of them really had great collars. There's really not one I like over the other. But I think B's is a little bit higher and so it'll stay up a little bit more. So we're going to mark B for that one. The hood, only B had the hood. That's obvious. Color, for me personally, I like B's color. I like the cooler color, the more classic color. And they're both pretty much waterproof, so we're gonna just mark both of them. So I don't know about you guys, but if it was up to me, I would choose B. But I wanna hear what you guys think. So go to my website, www.fashionangelwarrior.com. Check me out on Facebook, go to Instagram, and let me know which trench coat would you pick, A or B. This is Christine D'Angelo, your Fashion Angel Warrior. Thanks for watching.